What up, everybody? You're now tuned into Candid Conversations. We're back again with another episode today. And hey, we still got part two to the mental health coming up. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do that sometime. I'm try to do it sometime, maybe later on this week. If we all coordinate and get together, we had stuff come up, you know, life happens. But right. we will be doing that. So part two to the mental health will be coming up, fellas. So I had hey, oh man, I forgot to tell you. I had a couple guys hit me up, man, and the impact already that we're having with these talks. It's, right. it's being, you know, men have approached me and talked to me about it and say, dude, they, they love everything we're doing, talks we're having, things that need to be said, things that need to be talked about, you know, because, you know, men don't talk. So this is a man. nice topic. I say, man, I appreciate, you know, those fellas, you know, giving me that encouragement and creating a male space for my brothers. Man, that's love for that, man. That's love. That's, that's awesome, love. man. It's good stuff. For sure. So man, today, man, we're talking about why men, why men have been collectively walking away from marriage. Now it's a lot of different factors to it. One of the factors off top, um, as far as the marriage rates falling to, is women have had played a part in it as well. It's not just men collectively on their own have walked away, even though men are the gatekeepers to marriage. You know, we are the ones that propose. Although I don't know if you've seen Sean, um, it's been more and more videos of women proposing. I think that's uh, that's going to be a new wave that's happening. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm. and with men, it's, it's going to be different with men because the proposals I've seen, I've also seen some rejections of those proposals and it hasn't been pretty. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So, hey, be prepared. You're going to see them all on social media. I've seen at least five in the last two months of women proposing to men and at least three of them, the men rejected and uh, the women were not happy. So, um Men are walking away, but a hey, women still want to get married. I mean, and that's not to say men don't want to get married. There's just some factors into why we feel like marriage is, you know, no longer a viable option for us. I mean, off top, first and foremost, men want to be in relationships with women. Men love women. Men love taking care of women. The issue with marriage, I think the biggest issue is the penalty you pay once the marriage dissolves. That's right. the biggest issue. If I can, if you could tell men right now that um, you could, if you go get married today in the divorce court, you will get leniency. You'll be on equal footing with her. So whatever your demands are and whatever you want, you guys can um, compromise and you'll be able to basically both parties will be happy after the marriage. You won't have to give up so much um, as far as uh, custody of your children, division of assets, um, you know, false, you know, false allegations. Well, I've seen where divorce lawyers have had women claim domestic viol domestic violence so they can get uh, more money, you know, Come more on, money, man. more assets, um, more custody of the children. Yeah, that's a real thing, Sean. Wow. Wow. Man. Yeah, I appreciate you know, those. Yeah. That, no, that, that's, that's the playback. Oh, OK. No, man, go that's ahead. that's um, this this topic right here. Um, you know, I've been, I've been married twice. So, uh, whew, to get into my personal feelings on that whole marriage thing, man, that's going to be, that's, we, that'll be a long <laughs> segment. I don't want to take over. So, but from on, on my end and for, from brothers I know who've been married, you know, a lot of the conversation I've been having is man feels as if marriage is not, a lot of men feel as if marriage is not set up for them and it feels as if um what am i getting out of this it feels yeah. as if marriage is um and this is just brothers you know uh, and and i and and i don't i don't want i don't want women to think that this you know uh, this is just men just having regular conversation they feel as if it's not set up for them you know i've heard guys who say they've gotten married because you, you know, they're getting tired of the, you know, pretty much not, I don't want to say pressure. Well, some have said pressure. Um, they just want to keep the woman quiet, you know, but it's not something yeah. that um, they want to do. Um, they want to do it. Um, a lot of men who are, who, you know, who they like, they want to be prepared. They want to be prepared uh, and have things set up when they actually do get married. But a lot of men feel as if there's it's nothing in it for them. You know, it's it's pretty much catered uh, to women. And 
you know, once they get married and things have the tendency of changing. You know, my mom said it best is like, uh, when you're just dating a woman, regardless of what, if you're not married to, even if you gauge, y'all just, you can say what you want, you just date, you're dating. You know, because marriage is a whole different entity from anything else. So with that being said, <laughs> marriage, my mom said, you know, when you get married, you got to, now it's time to really step it up. You got to step your game up. You can't just do the basic things that you did when you were dating. You got to really work. And yeah. sometimes once people get married, man, you know, the the lazy daisicalness just kicks in. And so a lot of dudes are walking away from actually not even wanting to do that, you know, because and then I know the brothers, I know brothers who don't have, I know some brothers who don't have any kids and have never been married, but they've seen what they've other, they've seen what their friends have went through, um, yep. you know, the child support, um, the taking away from the, you know, being a weekend dad or the once they get divorced and whatever, the woman moves the kid out of state to make it a huge inconvenience for the father. I mean, it's just so many, there's so many cons and not pros. And yep. so marriage isn't looking appealing and attractive to a lot of men in 2021. And that's yeah. just where it's at. And that's why the marriage rate is plummeting. I mean, I mean, it's plummeting at a high rate. Yep. What are men getting out of marriage? I mean, when you really look on the outside in, I mean, you looking on the outside, what are men really getting from that? When you think about right. it, what are men really getting from marriage? And how can that narrative be changed to where, you know, more men want to get married? I really don't have the answers to the questions. You know, <laughs> all I'm seeing is this, is that everything is set up from the ring to the everything for the yep. woman. Yep. And the dudes just sitting up here was like, all right, you know, I'm and I'm, you know, a lot of dudes' attitudes, I'm I'm stuck with this woman now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's funny, man. They try to sell marriage to men. Um, I know about a I say about early, early 2010s. You know, they were talking about how, you know, men benefit from marriage the most. Uh, married men live longer lives. Married men make more money. Married men have more this and married men are more happy. And married men are more this. And uh, you see that. And of course, studies now have shown that bachelors uh, live just as um, happy lives. Um, you know, uh, the rate of uh, may, may, married men do live a little longer, but, you know, it's a few years or whatever. But um it's show, showing that bachelors have lived just as fulfilling lives as those who have been married, you know? Right. So um, I'll tell you one thing. Hey, I'm going to bring this story up real quick. I was going to save it, but I was like uh, this right here and we can shape the conversation around this right here, Sean, this, if you've never heard about this, this is going to throw you for a loop and this should scare any man who's thinking about just getting into a relationship, not marriage, but scare you about getting into a relationship because this right here is crazy to me so a businessman in canada was ordered to pay spousal support to his ex-girlfriend who he was never married to never had children with and never lived with so this is in toronto so how, he said he's been huh go ahead what how, how's that even possible b I'm about, to, I'm about to read it for you, man. Listen okay. to this, man. All right. So a uh, businessman from Toronto, Canada has been ordered to pay the court, uh, ordered by the courts to pay his ex-girlfriend more than $50,000 a month in support for the next decade. Uh, this guy's a billionaire. I'm mean, not a billionaire, but a millionaire businessman, by the way. He's highly successful. So he said the court determined this after they verified the two were never married and never lived together. And so um, Judge Sharon Shore presided over the case. So Henry McCoy had tweeted out, he said 50 K a month indefinitely. He said, if capitalists have their way, men won't go near women. Then this is, this is real. This is a real thing. So uh, his name is Michael Latner. He a reported multimillionaire had been in dating relationship with list Clemens for almost 15 years. The pair had gotten together. Latner was divorced father of three and Clemens was a single mother of two. They got together in 2001 in October. Uh, October 2001, the pair began dating but kept separate homes. They stayed together for 14 years and will often stay with each other in their houses, vacation together, 
and he would give her expensive gifts. And so uh, what this uh, another lady, uh, she does a lot of um, like men's rights um, stuff. She has her own channel. Her name is Janice Fiamingo. I've watched some of her stuff. She's uh, really good to talk about the pitfalls of relationships and marriage with men and, you know, the lack of accountability um, in women. And she said, for anyone still wondering why men are swearing off women, reason may be found in this ruling by Ontario's highest court in which a man will be forced to lavishly support a woman he never married, never lived with and never had children with. He said he provided thousand dollars of each month um, for a credit card and paid off her mortgage. He said she allegedly quit her job and stayed at his house regularly. They never had joint banking accounts, never shared any property, of course, never had any kids. And get this. He also proposed marriage to her. Yes. He proposed marriage to her on several different occasions, all of which she refused because she he insisted on a prenuptial agreement. So she was like, no. So now that the relationship ended. She went to the courts to say, hey, I need payment because, you know, we were dating and they gave it to him. He said, when the dating relationship ended, Clemens attempted to recognize to the courts as Latner's spouse. She further demanded that Latner provided alimony to her after dissolving the relationship. Say, Latner claimed the two never really lived together. They were not married. Thus, he should not be liable to pay for her after the relationship dissolved. Say, Latner asserted that the two were nothing more than travel friends in a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, letting her argue the two had never been married, thus do not owe any type of spousal support. But the judge was not going for it. Say so the judge ruled, even though Latner claimed they lived in separate homes, that it was enough for her to determine cohabitation for them going back and forth, staying with each other. And uh, under the current law in Ontario, unmarried couple is considered common law spouses if they've cohabitated. These people never cohabitated. And they allowed this judge to do this and railroad this man, which is insane. Hold on, before you respond, though, let me see. Cha Cha say, I can't build with somebody that I'm just dating. I can only build with my wife. Marriage is where it's at for me. Hey, and you can still find her, Cha Cha. You can still find her. There are women out there who are looking to build, who want to be married. And it's not necessarily that they're, um, you can't find the woman you want to marry or trust the woman enough to marry her. It's the end of the relationship, Cha Cha. It's not the beginning, it's not the middle, but it is the end of the relationship that you have to worry about. That's married or not. Because right. once the relationship dissolves and she has an issue with you, the power is out of your hands because she can levy any claim she wants against you. And it's up to you to prove that those things didn't happen. That's the biggest issue we have as men. No accountability for women. I don't understand the, uh, the part that, that just baffles my mind is the unfairness toward men. It's it's. I've never been able to understand. I've never been able to understand just just any of it. Just the, the, you know, the divorce, the, the whole, whole "I got to take half" thing. Um, dude, and built his stuff, built his stuff up from the bottom with no help, no support of her, and she could just come in just because they didn't spend some years together. Then she's entitled to what this dude has actually busted his butt for pretty much all his life to build and she could just go ahead and take half and have the kids and dictate the time that he spends with the kids and move out. It's it just, it just, it's just so much, so many disadvantages. And this is the reason why in 2021 marriage is not looking appealing, attractive, is not even uh, warranted when it comes from where the man is, is sitting. And that's why men ain't getting married now there's some guys out there mind you who really want to you know do it and again to each his own and I, i'm you know and i'm i'm not one to be i'm i'm not a negative dude so i'm not gonna spew out negativity but i'm a factual dude that like to talk about the facts you know and yeah. the statistics and the numbers and you know numbers don't lie people lie all day but numbers and statistic and the facts never ever lie so yeah. again why should a man just rush to propose to a woman or rush to the altar when when that thing goes sideways and they do he is going to be in other words asked out on the end yeah she could be mad 
and just be like, you know what? I'm mad. He cheated on me. I'm going to just go ahead and take half. All because that she's mad. Not because that she's deserving of it, but right. all because she's bitter and resentful or she's mad. And they hit that dude in his pocket, you know? And then his kids. And man, again, I can't speak on something that I've never experienced or haven't gone through. The whole going out of state thing, man, you talk about an inconvenience. And 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 for somebody who's actually been through that, you know, you can a, a man could be in a position to want to do more for his kid, but then he gotta spend money in hotels, rental cars, uh plane flights, just to have some type of some type of connection with his child and then they want more money well dummy if you would have stayed in the same state this money that i'm spending on all these travel costs and all these things could have been going to our kid yeah but now that dude has to work extra hard (laughs) get two or three jobs you know just to have the extra means to do all these extracurricular things all because that female was selfish and she moved that child out of state. There's a lot of dudes suffering because that child, that that person was selfish and immature to move that child out of state. Not even thinking about the relationship with that, with the father. Again, and B man, you've talked about it before. Man, man ain't got no hope, man. The only hope men got, and I'm not. And listen, before they go on the attack, I'm not campaigning for this. But the only man, but, but, but in men's defense, the only hope they got is to not do it. Yeah. Not do it. That's it, man. See, so Lisa say that's why a prenup should always come with a marriage proposal if you have assets to protect. I'm about to poke a hole in that theory right there, uh, Lisa. I'm about to poke a hole in that. Uh-oh. Uh, uh-oh. Brittany Nicole says definitely. What's up, Brittany? Uh, so, uh, uh, Ms. Lisa, so you do know with prenups, if she, she, any woman today, if I could drop a prenup, get married to a woman, and once it dissolves, she all she has to do is claim that I made her sign under duress. If it's proven, and I, she doesn't even have to prove it. She doesn't really have to prove it. All she has to do is say that Brandon Lampley made me sign under duress. I, I felt like, you know, I had no other choice, and he made me sign this under duress. Like you had guys who would make a woman sign it uh, at the altar. You know, that's signed in under duress or something like that. But even then, she it doesn't have to. She could just claim that you made her sign under duress. And most judges are going to throw it out at that point. So with prenups, no, just like prenups, um, non-disclosure agreements, any paperwork that a man signs dealing with the woman, it can all be thrown out if she said she felt pressured. So the all so that that right there, that's gone as well. You know, there's no protect. What what protection do we have as men? You don't have no protection at all, man. You out there butt naked. You have no protection at all. Yeah, man. It's a scary thing. And 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 women don't understand. A man can have good intentions, like, yeah, yeah, I want to marry you, I want to marry you. But yeah. in the on the flip side of his mind, he like on, on the other side of his mind, he like the fear factor. All that stuff that we're talking about, Brent. Yeah. That's the fear factor. That's the only thing that keeping that man from not wanting to marry you. And he has to go on. He's got to go on your word and your word alone. But it's funny how the word changes when emotions get involved. Yep. When anger comes into play. When bitterness comes into play, when he screws up royally, then all that th- those things that she promised, all those things that she promised, man, I want to say something so bad, but I don't want to put my stuff out there like that. I'm going to put it like this. Okay, this is a good cover. I know a guy. Okay, mm-hmm. let's just say it like this. This is true. It's, it's not fictitious. I know a dude who before he married this woman, before they had any kid together, they drew up an agreement, had it notarized by a notary that if anything goes wrong once they get married, she cannot take that child out of state. Now, my mom always told me this, 
And she ain't never been wrong about nothing. She said, and this is way before Chris Rock even said it. Way years before Chris Rock said it, I was in my 20s. Chris Rock ain't say that until I got back in my 30s when he did his stand up. She said, baby, we tell life changing, altering lies. Mm-hmm. Y'all tell dumb yes. lies. We, t- we change, we tell life altering, life shattering lies. Yep. So they had an agreement that she can't take the child out of state. So he working out of town. She comes in town with the baby. They married now, whatever. She goes through the whole place of where he's working out of town for his job. They still met. They married, you know, but he's just working out of town and driving back and forth home. Ransacks the place, finds the the notarized agreement, takes it. They go through a divorce. He goes to look for the agreement to make sure that his son stays in state. She already got it in her hand. Let me tell you something, man. That mm. is the most nastiest. That that was real foul what she did. Yeah. She I mean it was it was I was like, you know what? And men be like, man, these you know, men, a lot of brothers that I talk to, educated brothers got their stuff together. He said, "Man, they just as shady as us. They just yes. as trifling as us. They ain't about nothing like we ain't about nothing." Yep. But they got this platform they got a huge platform of all the support and all that woman bullshit that they actually do that's hidden and all these mm-hmm. different type of things. So they got, they pretty much got a support system for them. Yep. Pretty much that for, for you, you I, when you got the, when you got the judge condoning your bullshit, you know, you know, we done as men. Yes. When he's condoning your, your BS, Knowing you dead wrong, and that dude, he just want to have a relationship with the kid, man. And y'all just screwing the dude left and right from go, man. <laughs> so my whole thing about this, I don't buy into all the stuff that they say they go through and all. I'm like, nah, man, nah. Because on at the end of the day, when they talking that noise, I'm like, nah, I didn't been through some of the stuff that you taking that brother through. Yeah. So I'm looking at this whole viewpoint differently. Yeah, yeah, man. man Let's we, see, we, uh, Marcus. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, Mar- Marcus Williams says we are living in a feminist world. We are slaves to their way of life. Hey, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, to to wow. a certain point, you are right. Yeah. The way, but the way men can combat that, man, we always have a shield and a sword. You know, no matter what battle we're going into, no matter how the odds are stacked against us. You always have your shield and you have your sword and the way you're shielding your sword in this fight right here in this world is vote with your feet and vote with your wallet, my man. So that what you do is you walk away, walk away, walk away. You don't want to deal with it. You don't want to play the games. Now, for the men who still want to be married and want to build and and all of that love and all of that crap. OK, go ahead and do what you do, man. But I will tell you this. Love is a relatively new concept when it comes to marriage. They didn't get married for love just a um, hundred years ago. No, it was about a transference of wealth. It was about joining two families together. You know, it, it was about duty. It, you know, it, it, it wasn't about this romanticism, you know, R&B and Disney and all of that. It wasn't about those things. And I understand why marriage is failing today when you uh, get married on those premises, because those things are fleeting. You getting married for love. OK. You're going to be love being love for probably about the first couple of years or so. Then it's going to get routine. It's going to get mundane. The real work is going to start. And then love is going to be seldom. Because if you notice, when you go to uh, family court, you go to divorce court. I've never heard a man say, um, well, sir, did you love her? No, they don't care. OK, sir, what are your assets? Because we're going to split them down the middle. That's what they're talking about in there. So it's about business. Marriage has always been a business transaction. It hasn't been about love. Humans have made it about love. You're going to continue to fail if that's the way you look at it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See, I got a couple more comments. Let me see. See, uh, Brittany said, you never know what a man is going through, especially when he is not in tune with his own insecurities or feelings. When I was married, my marriage was already rocky from get go. Found out he uh, witnessed messed up stuff in other other family marriages and had doubts for us. And now we are getting a divorce. Uh, Yeah. 
that the pitfalls aren't just for men in marriage, it's for women too, because a woman can choose wrong. You know, you can have marriage proposals on the table, but you choose the wrong man to marry. That messes you up. That I think I think a man choosing the wrong woman to marry um, is a detriment to him because they get a divorce and he lose money. But depending on his age, he can recover. You know, men tend to not be able to recover um, in gray divorces. So divorces after 55, they call it a gray divorce. They say you're less likely to recover from a divorce after 55, you know, because you not in you, you can't work like you did in your youth, like from from 20, from your 20s all the way to your 50s. That period of time is where you're going to get a lot of work done. But 55 on, you're not going to be able to work like you once did. Now, all men don't suffer, but most men don't recover from a great divorce. But women, on the other hand, whether you young, whether you old or whatever, especially if you're young and you choose wrong, you've wasted your youth, your beauty and your fertility on this man, something that you're not going to get back. So that's where the pitfall is for women as well. So we hey, I understand that completely. You know, men are not without fault. You know, this marriage is, isn't isn't always a great setup for either one of us. But men pay one of the highest prices as well for marriage. Right. Especially when it comes to the kids. See, that's hmm. the that's the big one. It's the kids, that's, man. That's that's huge, man. That is you say Lisa man. say women play chess, not checkers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, yes. day. All, All day. day long, man. All I day concur. long. I concur. I concur. Yeah, man. So I was um, looking at um, this article from the Huffington Post. I think this is from a few years ago. Um, yes, yeah, like 2013. This is 2013. They say eight reasons straight men don't want to get married. And one of the ones I saw highlighted was um, you lose out on sex. Studies have shown mm. studies mm. have shown that after about a year of living together, sex drops. It does. Sex drops because it gets routine. And it drops and it continues and it continues to drop. They say 20 to 30 percent of marriages are sexless, which means they have they have sex less than three times a year. I don't know about you. But that ain't gonna fly over here, man. It's, it's nah, not. That, ain't, that, that, that ain't gonna work. I, I can let you I, and I let her know that straight up in her face. That's just not gonna work. We got to we, we got one or two choices. We're going to figure this thing out some way, somehow. That's just not, you know, because um, and, and, and you know, and, I, and I've had. God, man, I don't know. You know what? The over a period of time, man, I've had more conversations and found out information about things that <laughs> I really don't want to know. But I tell women <laughs> all the time about men. You know, we need our sex. Yeah. Women it's think it's just about just us trying to get our rocks off. In a man's eyes, we are visual creatures. We are physical creatures. We need that sex because, yes, I can be close to you mentally. But I feel as if, I can, as a man, I can kind of feel as if I can be even more close to you sexually. Yeah. Hold on. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you now. Okay. Stupid yeah. scam likely calls, man. So, yeah. uh, the, the, and I've had to explain this to women in the past. I'm like, listen, it's get sex out your mind. Okay. This is about the closest I can be to you physically as one intertwined. Yeah. You know, I mean, feeling your heart breathe, feeling your heart beat the whole nine, just so close to you. It's almost like we are kind of like gelling together as a pretty much as, as paint conforming coming together. You're looking at it as I'm just trying to get my rocks off. I'm looking at it as I'm trying to be as physically close to you as humanly possible. Yeah, physical closeness when it comes to sex, you can't get no more closer than that physically. Yeah. When women have a wrong misconception, especially if I'm in a relationship with you, a partnership with you, 
I need that. So when you defraud me of that, which is in the B-I-B-L-E, if you don't know what mm -hmm. defraud meant, defrauding means, look it up for yourself so you can understand, you know, for the people that go to church every time the church doors are open, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But defrauding their husbands every week, every month, every year. Yep. And not acting like there's not a problem with that. And like, look, the man, the, the, the big man upstairs is not going to have a problem with you. You're not supposed to do that. When you defraud your man, now you are inviting other problems into the picture. See, now that there's got to be a point to where you have to, the accountability and responsibility has to kick in. Yeah. It's got to kick in. The minute you're mad at him, he's sleeping on the couch. You don't want to, you know, because you and your feelings, you don't want to, you don't want to give them the cookies. Now mm -hmm. you are putting that dude up on a silver platter. Now he got to go out to the, 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 the war and fight against all the temptations against uh, Sarah or Karen or Becky or Roberta, whoever on the job that's complimenting him. Mm -hmm. Now, not now, I, I ain't talking about average dude. Now, what if you got a good looking dude, take care of his body mm -hmm. and everything? Now, listen, he only flesh and blood at the end of the day. Yep. He only flesh and blood at the end of the day. And like, listen, don't put me up on the pedestal because I'm a failure. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, but if Every I time. come and talk to you and say, listen, if I come, if he comes and have a candid conversation with you, like, listen, this sex, um, this, this sex thing right here, um, we having sex on just anniversaries and Christmas and Easter and Halloween and all that. No, 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 no. This thing's got to be a regular weekly thing. Yeah. You know, because, and you are so right, Brandon, because I didn't been in that boat. You get married, man, boy, you, boy, I, te I tell you what, you dating, you can't get it enough. You get married, it's rationing out to you. What yep. the hell? Are you serious? But you want me to still treat you like a wife. You want me to still cater to you, buy you this, do these things for you. But you defraud me every damn week. You must be out your rabbit ass mind. If you think that's yep. going to work, that is never going to work. I'm sorry. We going to come together, figure this out. Because that's not going to work. Men ain't, men ain't built that way. Mm -mm. You got women out here be like, oh, I don't need sex. And, and, and they right. They'll go without it. They will go without it. Yep. They would go without it. Talking yep. about they tired and all that, man. You know what? You know what? I'm tired of going on this job, paying these damn bills too. That man, Sean. That's the <laughs> that's what I that's the part right there, Sean. That is the issue right there. I saw a TikTok, man. I saw a TikTok where the guy he um the husband and the wife, and um they did a little a uh, little snippet from the show uh, from the movie Big Daddy with Adam Sandler and the little kid. When he wanted to hit a kangaroo song, he stopping his feet, complains like right. kangaroo song, kangaroo song. But the man is saying that she's been uh depriving him of sex all week, and so right. he's like demanding sex like a little kid. And right. the women in the comments, man, they were just terrible, and they were talking about how um, like, oh, that's coercion, is not consent. And um, to my you don't know what she's going through, you don't know uh, uh how what her body is, you don't know what the stressor she's doing, and all the, making all these excuses. But I say this. I said, okay, well, if that's the case, if that's the case, then you've been depriving this man for a week. Can I stop working for a week? Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, snap. I can't do that, can I? Because we got to pay these bills, right? I can I stop protecting and providing for a week? No, I can't do that. But you want to slack in your duties. Marriage is about duty. That is a duty. It is a duty. And one thing I hate too, Sean, and you can speak to this, and then I'm gonna get to these comments real quick. Um, because we got a, we got a few of them, but uh, chore play, chore play is BS. You ain't gonna get in the mood because I help the kids with homework, because I wash the dishes, because I cook, or because I took out the trash. <laughs> Stop the stupidness. Stop the cat. That don't turn you on. Stop lying so much, man. They lying to these, like you say, beta males, and these dudes. Oh man, look at me doing the dishes. Cheese and this stuff. Come on, man. That's not going to work. Because I guarantee you this. Her personal trainer ain't took out the trash. Ain't helped the kids with nothing. And they did no dishes. But he probably blowing her back out. He ain't did none of those things. So that doesn't get her in the mood. The dude at her job, Kevin in sales. Her, 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 her work husband 
uh, ain't did none of those things. So come on, man. The dude at the bar who been ironing her and buying her drinks ain't did none of those things. But yeah, she'll mess with that dude. So now you want me to take out the garbage so you can get in, get in the movie. Man, you got to get out. Come on, B. Come on, B. B, you got a couple of times to show me our options. I'm going to show you how many options I got. That's it. That's <laughs> it, man. <laughs> hey, show, t- show, t- keep showing me I'm options. I'm going to show you how many options I got. Right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Robin Brooks says, sex is a gift from God to married couples. Uh, your spirit entwined together to make you as one. Yeah, that's what it's meant for. That's, there you go, Robin. Yeah, enough working said, as a hair. Yeah, working as a hairstylist, most of the married women who was having issues with their husbands was the ones who didn't want to have sex and used it as a weapon. Thank you. Oh. They manipulation. Oh. They they use it as manipulation, man. Yeah, Robin, they gonna revoke your they gonna revoke your Facebook for that, man. <laughs> You say all the man Lisa say all the man need is some sex and appreciation for that for uh for all I guess for all of that he does. Yeah. That's it. Show me some appreciation, uh sex sandwich silence. And we good to go. That, I mean, that's that's, the- that's it, man. And what and here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. I don't know. I, I, I'm likely, man. Yeah, yeah, you got I women. Know. Women, women are notorious for swapping wrong information between the two. Yeah, they, 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 they swapping the wrong information, and it's just like you just said, B. Just need the support, need the food, and we need the cookies. We need it. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a need. It's, 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 it's a need, ladies. You know, it's elite, ladies. It's a need. When you're feeling like that's a chore, you should have never got married. You should nope. be by yourself. As a matter of fact, join a convent so you ain't even got to deal with no man. Don't even, don't even interact with one if that's what you want. But if you trying to get in a full blown relationship with any type of dude, you must understand that that is a necessity for a man. Yeah. Okay, uh, lose. Lose the dumb women shit in your mind because you're screwing up royally. That's a need. It's a necessity. And for women who don't do it, they the ones that's always going to be asked out by themselves, divorced, separated, and he moving on to the next thing. Because what yeah. you won't do, like my grandma used to say, there's plenty of them out there will. And if you got a good looking fine dude, man, you must be, you, you, you must be super on, you, Either you hire some dope because you definitely going to deliver him out there. Mm-hmm. Are you crazy? But you know what? A lot of women are thinking they more than what they are. Man, y'all got too much competition. Be acting stupid out there. You got too, too much competition. There's no way. There's, you, if you're a female acting like you all of that, are you at your... It's so much competition out there. There's so much yes. competition. There's, there's women out there that do stuff and you will never see him again. Never. Right. I mean, take right. the four off of it, ever. Mm-hmm. You will never, ever see him again. Keep thinking that you're more than what you are. You're going to keep being the bridesmaid and never the freaking bride. You keep, yep. keep doing it. See, you, and, you know, good luck with, you, you know, uh, uh, let's see how and, that and, works out for you. And then, too, th- and you got to think about it logically. There are more women than there are men on this planet. What? Always Don't have been, ten, always will be. No, it's crazy. <laughs> and it has to be that way. It has to be that way because it only takes, they say you only need about 30 men to populate the entire planet of women. Like, I mean, you, that's all you what? need. With you, if you take away all the men right now and leave just the women, you only need about 30 men to, um, to grow the numbers of, of our people. That's all you need. 30 men. 30 men can impregnate all the women in the world. Period. Oh, in a short period of time, too. It's not going to take long. It's not going to take long at all. So knowing that, knowing yeah. that there's more women than there is men, your competition, ladies, is stiff. And, dude, I was out Sunday, Sean. I went to a rum and jerk event. They right. had, like, Haitian flag day. And so he had a lot of island women there. Sean, this competition right. is stiff. I mean, you had a girl out there with those, you know, those those see-through mesh uh, tops they put over their bathing suit when they go into the, to the beach. 
Mm. A girl had one of those on, Sean, mm. and she had only thing she had on under it was she had tassels on her nipples and the thong on, so you could see everything God gave her, and she was gorgeous. And I was like, "Wow, that's amazing!" And there's some dude right now sitting at home, got a wife, and he's being deprived, and you got all of these chicks out here. I mean, you got to be crazy, man. Got to be crazy. Uh, hey, it, it is my my mom used to tell me she. My, <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold that on, Sean. I say, uh, me, she's like, is no. Who's that? Hold Who's on. That? Let's see. Miles Monroe says men need sex and women need affection. But no, check this one out. She said, "What did y'all eat today? Y'all are on ten. Probably <laughs> <laughs> say we on ten. <laughs> we on ten today. Robin, I did have a salad with some Cajun salmon, man, and that get me, I get me, I get really gets me going. <laughs> I had fruit for energy. It got me going right before the show. I had had a bunch of fruit, so we, we we good to go. Lisa say confidence has no competition. You have to know what you bring to the table, and confidence is key, Lisa, because even the women the, who aren't as physically appealing, because you know women, your beauty is I think it's your your best put forward and maximizing the way you look. What you lack in one area, you make up for in another. You got women who are completely confident. They might not be the best looking women, but they will bring all types of value to a man's life and know how to treat a man. Those women do exist. Yeah. And hey, just like the girl I just described who had all of that, she probably, it, her, nothing about her goes beyond the way she looks, probably. But a woman could come along and bring all type of value to all areas of my life. She just fulfills a physical need. Now, sex is important, but don't think that that's the end all be all. Don't ever think that that's just it, because I I keep forty dollars on me, so I can get sex whenever I want to. Keisha is always somewhere in the vicinity. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so funny, man. That's, <laughs> that's so Oh, B, you ain't you ain't hey. even warm me up for that one, man. That was funny right there. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's it, it, and you're right, B. It it's you know it's it's you got she's got to be more than just good for laying on her back, you know. Um, you know, it's just you know it's something about the right woman, man, that brings out the right of everything out of a dude, man. The right one. The one who was raised right, the one who who cooks and brings his meals to him, and she don't look at it as like being but no being beneath him. She's like, I, you know, I she knows that I'm just trying to serve my man. I want to be good to him. I want to give him all that he needs because I want him. Man, uh, <laughs> when a man is being treated right by a woman, man, he can't wait to get home to her. He ain't stopping at no mm -hmm. bars. He ain't pulling up at the door, drinking some, pulling some uh, liquor out of the, from up under the seat of the car. He can't wait to see her, man, because she just, in in a sense, you know, she she he feels as if she completes him, like the the you know, um, the sun rises and sets with her, you yeah. know, with the right woman, you know, the one who's not, you know, who understands that, like I said before. This man goes off the war to fight every day. I need to be his peace. I need to be his comfort. I need to be the softer side of his hardness. You know, the right woman can to, can just make a man feel complete. Now I've heard women say, women have told me, Sean, I, he has had, I've been with men who I've given them all that. And he still. Yeah. <laughs> and it happens. It happens. It happens. And, I, and I get it. It, it happens. It happens. It, it happens. happens. You know, so I can't, I can't. And uh, in my defense, well, not my defense, I have been that guy. And I'm gonna tell you why I've been that guy. You know, I got, you know, I got, I have, I've had, I, I, we all got issues and we all got BS. But, you know, my problem was I had a nosy penis. He was just nosy. And he constantly <laughs> got me in trouble. You know, some people, yeah. when I tell them that, they start laughing. <laughs> Trying mm -hmm. to bird the nosy penis. You know, the nosy penis gets you in trouble all the time. It does. You, there's certain things you have to kind of grow out of. And once you lose something that's great, it it will snap you into like, you know what? I don't never want, if I if, if God gives me an opportunity 
to ever get greatness again. I don't want to do nothing stupid to lose that greatness by yeah. have by 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 my nose my nosy penis leading the way. You know, mm -hmm. nosy penises always get you in trouble. So yeah, yeah. The majority yeah. of my troubles have come from said nosy penis, sir. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean it's just it is what it is, man. And then you when you look back on it, Sean, you're like. I, I I put myself in this position for that. That right. that that's why I put myself in this position. Something that just uh, something that's very fleeting, you know. Something that right. Um, right. at the end of the day, you know, kind of not worth it. I mean, when you think about right. any man today, I will tell him any man like, why would you approach it? just approach women like that today? Why would you cold approach? I mean, you don't need to. If you're living your life, you're on your purpose and you out and about, you you know, you're doing things to better yourself. Women are going to throw themselves in your path to be chose by you. They're going to see what you're doing. They're going to say, hmm, you got something going on over there. I want to see more about this. And they will inquire. They will they will watch you. They will watch you and they will write for the right moment to put themselves in front of you to be chosen by you. They will do that. So you walking up to a woman who you don't know, trying to talk to her, trying to holler. No, no. Trying to get stuff out of thin air. No, trust me. She saw you when you walked into McDonald's or Starbucks and she saw you size you up and decided oh, yeah. she wasn't going to approach you. So don't approach her. Leave it alone, man, because you will have much better interactions with women if you deal with ones that actually like you. Crazy concept, right? <laughs> Let's see, Lisa true. say, let's see, Lisa say, Brandon, you a damn mess. Hey, Lisa, I, yeah, it, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest, man. Because I mean, when you when you really when you really think about it, women for a long time have been seen as having the moral high ground when it comes to marriage and relationships. Like they're the angels and we're the devils. That's how it's kind of always been painted. Like they are the ones who want all of these good things. They want all of these want. You know what's best for everybody. You know they're selfless. They're, they're, no, we're what men have been finding out. Like you said, Sean, women are just like us. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That you know, but B, that ain't mine. That's Gwen's. Gwen, Gwen put me on game about that. She say so, baby. Don't 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 feel bad. Don't feel bad. She say because baby, they. She say I'm. <laughs> and women be looking at me crazy when I say this, but. As I've lived this life, it's been true. I may have found maybe one or two women who have definitely told me about their BS, opposed to the ones who've been less than honest. And so my mom's like, the only woman that's going to be honest with you about everything is your mama. Yeah. So she's like, because I ain't got no dog in your fight. You my son. I ain't, I ain't trying to date you. You my kid. So I'm, I'm going to be transparent. Now, for you to meet someone who's going to be transparent about the, the stuff, the, the shadiness, the trifliness that they've done to men, that is rare. That's like searching for a needle in a haystack. Women don't want to hear that. Women probably don't. Oh, yeah, whatever. I, well, you know what? How many men have you been? Uh, uh, how many men that you have been uh, completely honest and shared your dirt in the past? Please, women, by all means. Uh, don't everybody raise their hand at once. Please share that in your comments. Have you been honest with men about your dirt in the past? Mm -hmm. But you want every you want to know everything that he didn't done since VPK. Yeah. But you're not telling him not one thing transparent about the dirt that you've done to other men. You ain't telling them about the times that you didn't had two men at once and all the stuff and you didn't had uh uh those one night stands and you didn't play this dude for this. I, I'm using Bobby for this. I'm using uh, Don for this. And you, 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 you ain't telling about the times that you didn't play the field. Yeah. I mean, you know, but my mom said they're not going to tell you that, son. They're not going to tell you. And she's and right. She's right. What's funny about that, Sean, is when you talk about uh, women talking about their dirt, women have more chances to do dirt than men because women are going to come across more men in their everyday lives than men are going to come across women. Even the guy who's one of the most attractive guys in the world still pales in comparison to the men that women have access to, below average women have access to. 
Like you got women who do, don't have a great body shape, uh, look like a dude in the face, uh, what just the most unattractive woman you could think of, and she still is going to have options on par or better than the best looking or best, uh, most, most rich male. Period. Don't the closest a man experiences what women go through on the dating market with access to men is men who are rich. And then even then, those rich men don't get what the average to below average woman gets on the market, at least the volume of it, of course. And I'm thinking, dude, all you got to do, make a yeah, date man, profile cause... as a woman. Make a dating profile as a woman. You'll see. <laughs> hey, man, a woman can make a profile on Instagram and Facebook and have a gazillion followers. Mm -hmm. That's a, which is a perfect example. And have a gazillion followers. She can post herself taking a dump and getting like a million comments from men and likes and all kinds of things. Why? Because women, men been trying to holler at women since they've been in kindergarten. They are yep. not, they are not, they are not lacking in dudes trying to holler, trying nope. to talk to them, trying to flirt. They are not lacking in that area not one I older. So I don't believe the hype. When these women tell me, oh, I can't find a man, can't find a man. I'm like, girl, come on now. You can go anywhere. You can walk down the street in a garbage bag. Some dude gonna be trying to holler at you. Come on, That's man. It. Let's why I don't even know why we play these games. Why do we have to play that game? I don't understand, I understand. why we have you, you come on, man. You you they're always gonna have dudes trying to holler. And trying yes. to play that game, I'm like, man, come on, man. Let's just be real with each other, man. Y'all always going to have dudes trying to holler at y'all. It may not be the dude that you want to holler want. at you. That's... But you're going, but you always going to have dudes trying to shoot they shot with you and your DMs, all kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah whatever. Women, y'all can kill yeah. that noise, man. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> See, Pastor Palmer says, he said, I'm talking to my mom, wow. Say, uh, Robin Brooks says, it's true. Uh, let's see. If you ask the question, you'll get the answer. Most men don't want to know the truth. We don't. So I would say don't divulge even if he asks, because whatever it is, it's going to be too much. <laughs> it's going to be too much. No matter what you, no matter what your answer is. So true. They can't handle the truth. You're right. So that, that's why, that's why as a man, don't set yourself up for that, man. Don't ask her about her past. Don't, don't, don't do it. You, I mean, especially right. if she's going to be honest about it, you are not going to want to know. You're going to look at it differently. I guarantee it. So let it go. Let the past be the past. Let it go. Let it go, man. But I will say that yeah, knowing her track. No, well, I was going to say knowing her track record in the past is going to give you an indicator of future behavior, though. I mean, that this is true. So if she's used to being single and dialing up dudes like she dialing up pizza, um, you think she's just going to cut off the spigot of male attention to be with one singular man? I have a hard time believing that, Sean. When that's the other part of this, when it comes to marriage, so women today have put off marriage and they dated in their twenties and been with all type of guys. So you're telling me that at the ripe old age of say, like I'm 32, so say she's 32, she's like, okay, I'm done with all of these dudes and being all these random guys and the late night hookups, and I just want to settle with you and build a life. So she's going to just cut off all that attention like that? I don't believe it, Sean. I don't. I don't because I'm a man and I know I'm not going to do that. So I know they're not going to do. Come on, this, wow. let's not let's not do it. And even if you don't sleep with those guys, you keeping them somewhere. You keeping up them contacts. You're keeping up those relationships. Hey, I told you oh, what yeah. Snapchat is. Snapchat, she can add them, talk to them, and then take them off and un and unadd them. Instagram, same thing. Like all of these stuff, there is so many ways for her to keep in contact with males from the past. And if that's if that's the game you want to play, hey, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not playing that game. See, for the man of their choice, it's a done deal. Yeah, but women rarely women rarely choose um, the man can get the man of their choice. Like especially with the way they have it now, to where. The man of their choice is the six-figure guy. The guy, he got to be over 6'2". He got to have all these things. Okay, well, those men have a plethora, a harem, a smorgasbord, a buffet of women. So why is he going to stop dealing with them to just deal with you? 
you have to ask yourself these questions. Are there guys that have done it? Of course. Are there guys that are currently doing it? Of course. But as you have found out, the men, the men who all the women want, those high value guys, their dirt and their ills have been put out on display for people to see. So you've seen the type of lives these men have led. Hey, the hey, not to vilify men, but those men like Kevin Samuel say, uh, high value men don't cheat. They exercise options and they got a ton of options. So women want to want that lifestyle, but they're not about that life. They're not about that life because it's some things as a man who's making significant money that you just going to have to deal with. And if you don't deal with it, OK, ma'am, well, I'm over here. You go back over that way. Right. Right. You know, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, my mom always say, man, it's easy for a woman to uh, to get any man to have sex with him. Yeah. Hard trying Easy. to get one to stay with them. Yes. She say, now that's the challenge. And she say, that's the bitch. <laughs> now, my mom told me this about four years ago. Five, four years ago, she blankly said, out of her mouth, women are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They think. In their mind, and with it, because I used to just love to hear what she's gonna say, B, because she was so transparent. She said, They re, she said, women really think because they got all these dudes trying to talk to them that all of them want you, yeah. In a they think that, ladies, they think that, uh, ladies, uh, news flash just because dudes trying to holler at you and you got a laundry list of dudes trying to holler at you. Out of that whole list of hundreds and hundreds of dudes that's trying to holler at you, you may have maybe one. <laughs> I'm sorry to bust your bubble. You may have one that really wants to be in a relationship with you. And it's not going to be the one that you have in your mind. <laughs> it's yep. not going to be Prince Charming. I'm sorry. He's not going to be that guy, but you got one out of hundreds that wants you. The rest of them, they just trying to get in your pants. And I've been saying this for years. I'm like, how do you buy? How do you? How do you? How do you be that naive to think that all these guys want to be with you in a relationship? Have you as a fiance or wife? They don't, ladies. They no. don't. They want the cookie. That's all they want. They don't want nope. nothing else from you. They probably don't even want conversation. They just want your cookies. And they want to get those cookies as long as they can get those cookies until they can find something better that they really do want, that they really want to settle down with and they want to go. So yep. that's the world we live in. Don't get mad at Sean Taylor. Sean didn't make these rules. But those are the rules of this life that we live in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't, get mad, don't get mad at me. Yeah, women women have done no things. With you. Yeah, women have 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 started to um, do what men do, which is choose with their eyes. So a guy who's uh, who looks good, hey, that guy can waste a woman's time. He can waste her time for a long time. It's a lot of women right now who are in holding patterns with men who they see as physically superior. And holding pattern meaning That's is that. Point. <laughs> hey, which is means hey, he knocking it down uh, from time to time, and y'all might chill and hang out, and y'all somewhat in a relationship, uh, but he's out hunting other prospects while he's dealing with you, and right. you know about him hunting right. for these other prospects, and so you're in a holding pattern, and he's never what, what why is it why would he ever stop? He's getting the best of you for absolutely nothing, for nothing. Think about that. For nothing. That's like with women who having kids out of wedlock. You gave your womb away for free. So now that I know that you've done that, why would I buy it? Why? Why would I purchase it? Why would I purchase it? No. Mm -mm. But that goes back to the why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free. One of the oldest sayings I've heard. I mean, that's. I mean, that goes back years and years, and decades, and probably millennia. You know, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Right. They say Lisa say uh hell no penis options. Yeah, that's it. That's what you got. 
you got penis options. That 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 that's what you have. You don't that relationships options are very few, especially today. I mean, we live in a hookup culture. Being married today, I mean, you can have a um, you can have a successful marriage today, of course, but it's going to be very hard because of the constant. I mean, the just the embarrassment of options men and women have. Because even though women have more options, let's not get it. Let's not get it twisted. Men have options as well. Pay for play is about to be legalized in the United States. That's coming. It's already been legalized in a few places. So what'd you, you say? What'd you say? What's pay that for play. Yeah. Prostitution. Yeah. Prostitution is getting ready to be legalized. They just legalized <laughs> it in New York. Sean, you didn't see that? It's legal in New York. now. No! Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. I say, are you serious, man? I'm no! so serious. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna change the game up. <laughs> it's changing the game. You know what? America, y'all wrong for that. Y'all wrong for that. <laughs> These dudes ain't gonna never get married. <laughs> Man, I just gotta pay a couple of dollars to you know, I'll get what I want. I ain't gotta hear mine for whatever. Oh, bam. I mean Bam. Oh my God. Are you serious? So Are you serious? serious? Yep. Come on, B. B, quit tell. B quit pl- Hey, where Ashley Kushner? I'm being punk. Are you serious? I'm so serious, Sean. That's it's coming, man. Uh, Kamala Harris is a great proponent of it. They decriminalize sex work. That's the campaign. What? They want sex workers. They want these women to be able to go out there and yeah, serious? make their money. Yeah, yeah. Man, they want these women to go out and make some change. Up in- <laughs> oh man, oh, dude, I'm done. I'm done for the day. <laughs> Boy, America, y'all to America, yeah. y'all to control. America, y'all to control. Wow, man. Oh, man, B. Yeah. Women, I, women. To, to all the women out there in America, to find out this news, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now y'all got to yeah. deal with that. On top of other nonsense. Oh, yeah, man, that's crazy, bro. That's so crazy. Oh my yeah. god. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Sure. Mercy. No, no, they ain't doing this. God, no, they. Lord, no, they ain't doing this. <laughs> man, I feel like I'm in a red light district right now in Frankfurt. I mean, seriously? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. It. It really. It. Man. You're all now. You're always going to have men who want those personal relationships and want to deal with one, of course. So you'll be still be able to get into relationships, right. of course. But for those men who don't see much value in relationships, which is becoming more and more men, um, and seeing how relationships cater to women, it doesn't. Is relationships are not built for men. Most majority of us are going to go the way of hey, I'll just you know I'll just drop the forty dollars on the nightstand and dip. I mean, it's just that's what it's gonna be, you know. Boy, you, boy, you stupid. <laughs> you stupid. Boy. I mean, because let's be honest, man. Yeah, you wrong. <laughs> but, but Sean, let's be for real though. Let's be for real. Like, let's let's you gonna if ladies are going to be unrealistic, they'll price themselves out of the market when it comes to this. So if you are if you are a sex worker and you're selling your goods. Um, you can't price yourself out of the market. So, uh, yeah, forty dollars is supposedly the going rate. They say once they legalize prostitution, it's probably gonna be about the, the price of a cheeseburger. Um, yeah, <laughs> because Robbie, the, the, come, get, come get him, Robin. <laughs> no, but the the more you flood the market with it, the less valuable it becomes. I mean, it's just right, what it is. Right, right, right. You right, you right, you right. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, Lisa I say married ones are in her DM daily. Hey, that's another one. Hey, Lisa, the, hey, they're the married men. Hey, they say married men shoot, they shot. That's what they do. They say but ladies, they but, talk all the time. Now and the part that Lisa the no no no, I was gonna say just said, on the other side too. Yeah. I can't believe these married dudes be in these single women's DMs like that, man. They, yeah. And the and the single women be going up their spot and posting the t- the whole, the mess. I, I you, hey man, y'all brothers bold man to do something like that, man. Yes. Wow. 
That's crazy. So DJ Envy just got in trouble, man. He um he uh, a girl exposed him and uh he went in her DMs and she talking about using a strap on on him and he laughing and giggling with her. I said, oh no, oh no, yeah, Sean. Oh yeah, look look that up. DJ Envy and him DM with Irv Gotti was just DMing a, a, a IG model trying to tell her asking her to respond to his uh, DMs and he married. Dude, yeah, these guys, these married dudes are going outside, man, especially the ones with money. They're going outside out here, man. And then on the other side, too, uh, mama, hey, hey, look what my mom say. She said, help, Lord. <laughs> hey, my, it's the end of times. It's the end of times. Robin, Robin say, help, Lord. <laughs> help, Lord. Hey, boy. Hey, hey, B, man. It's hard out there in them streets, man. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. It's hard. Hey, man. Look at man. Hey, boy. It's oh hard. Oh, my God, boy. I just hey, laugh today. Hey, and Lisa, not only not only you got married men in your DMs and married men, uh, married men trying to shoot their shot at you, but uh, pickup artists, men who pick up women professionally, they do it for a living. They make money off of teaching men how to pick up women and how to cold approach them. Those men collectively all talk about the same thing and how the women who are the easiest to pick up, no matter where you are, are women in relationships and women that are married. That is fact. That is fact right there, man. And it's sad to say that. Just like you got married men who are going to be in DMs, you got these married women and women in relationships. Those are the easiest ones to pick up. Well, in their defense, back in my days, affirmative. He is correct. Yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. even lie about that. That dude ain't lying. He is yeah. not lying about that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, easy prey. The easy I, and I didn't yeah. Sean I didn't realize how easy it was man and then um a lot of them what they'll do of course they'll conceal their relationship they'll conceal their relationship from you so oh, yeah. I mean I remember I dealt with a girl um who stayed down the street um uh, uh, I used to you know stay with my grandmother and she stayed down the street uh no well, actually her cousins did and they were like oh my cousin she want to talk to you man I went there that night talked to her because I seen her like once before and of course, we ended up talking and watching the movie, and then you know, dude did what lovers did. And dude, the next day, the next day, because come to find out, she had a three month old baby. So, if there's a three month old baby, you know, there's the, a man that's not too far away, a three month old. So, the next day, she out and about with baby daddy, who she lives with. Who they had just came back, he took her out to eat or something like that. And I seen them going in the house, and I was like, Who was that? And that's when they told me, he's like, Oh, that's her baby daddy. I said, What? I was just over there last night. Are you serious? Craziness. And she stopped talking to me. I said, Golly. Hey, hey, women just want hey, women just want to get it in too. Women want some strange too. Don't forget that. Let's not let's, let's not remember, let's not forget that. Women want some strange too. Right. Mm. Wow, boy, look at here, Lord have mercy, boy. I wish I could keep talking, man. I got, the, I'm gonna have them clients rolling in in any minute. I know, I know. Yeah, B, we are our eight in. This, this, this was a good segment, man. Now, B, this is not B. This is another one. We gonna have to do a part two on, man. We ain't have enough time. I got so much. I, I got so much. I got so much bottled in that I want to talk about and want to say and expound on, but we ain't got enough time, man. But man, this was a good segment, man. And all the stuff is truth. Yeah. I, I, you can't even argue the point. You can't. Yeah, Lisa say, Lisa you say, know? pray for him. So. <laughs> pray for him, Lisa. Pray for pray for me, Lisa. Pray for me, especially. Because I'm terrible. Don't the hey, hey, uh, I'm gonna say this. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm trying to be the best man that I can possibly be, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Once I start to get the money that I really want, just for a little bit, I'm gonna act a fool. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna get. It's gonna be business as usual. <laughs> but once I get this money, Sean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Uh, I'm acting fool. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Said, just to see what it's like. And then I'm gonna be re- food once you get that. Yeah, then I'll be a responsible adult after that. Uh, <laughs> but I gotta get that I gotta get the act the fool out of my system. Just wow. a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah get, go yeah. and get go and get it out you, man. Go on get it out you, yeah. man. It's, got it, to man. It's best that you get out, you man. Go on, get it out, yeah, man. <laughs> so, man, we're gonna wrap up here, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This is my hey, my mom say she said always. But hey, my mama say Jesus. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> she, she said you have to go through it for a hot minute. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through it. Yeah, yeah. Lisa, I'm gonna have to go yeah. through it for a hot minute. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to go through it. But yeah. man, but I appreciate y'all yeah. for tuning in. Make sure you follow yeah, us on, on all so, social go, media. Go ahead and sow your royal oats and the word of coming to America. <laughs> <laughs> Shout yeah. out, come to America. Go ahead and sow them royal oats, buddy. Yeah. Be yeah. Dang. Yeah, man. So, but hey, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Uh, follow Sean Taylor, uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Hey, look for him on all his platforms. Right. Hey, hey, when that when that podcast oh. gets started up, man. Man, I'm probably going to start it up. I, you know what? I want to go ahead and try to kick that thing off before summer ends, man. Before summer ends? That's in, a good, that's a good I target. Got a lot of, I, got a, I got a lot of fellas, man, because like, Sean, come on, man. We've been rooting for you to go ahead and start this podcast up for the fellas. I said, man, I got a part in that, man. I said, man, I mean, we've been seeing you, man. Y'all need to keep them collabos going, man. So I yeah, like, that's what yeah, they tell man. me. So I can't, I can't, I, yeah, that's what every, everybody... B, everybody is saying how bad they love they how much they love the collabos, man. Especially the dudes, yeah. man. They like Sean, man. Yeah, man, y'all boys, man, y'all touching on some topics, man. Yeah, man. Say, yeah, man. He said, Y'all need to keep that so, going. I said, well, well, we're gonna keep it going. You know, it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. Hey, man, that's it. We're gonna keep it going, man. Impact, yeah, impact, the impact we're making on men, man. I, I love it, man. And it, the ladies too, the ladies enjoy it. So, hey man, hey, we're gonna keep this thing going for sure. Right. But, man, I'm going to let you go ahead and get to them clients. I'm going to go ahead and get to what I got to do over here, man. But until next time, man, like, share, subscribe. We'll talk to y'all later, man. Peace out.